Okay, good morning everybody. So I've had this Easy Viz recorder in my shop for about a week now. It works pretty good. I still have the issue where if I want to do a session from home, record the screen and have the app for the camera at the same time, when I hit the mic button, it cancels out the mic in the phone so you can't hear me asking the question and then I have to basically tell you what the question is that I'm asking then do it. Some people would um, say that you're faking stuff I guess if I was to do that so I didn't put out a video this weekend of me doing it but it, it's pretty fun it works well I mean I guess if people want to call me a fake they can call me a fake I'll probably do some videos that way it's, it's pretty interesting. So this is the way I've got it set up I just run an app and the the mic is in the back so it sounds better when I have the phone sitting in, in behind it and then we're just getting the view over there of the cam Tom is Tom still around he's not I didn't think he was I haven't heard him in a long long time wonder why what that was all about I think Tom finally got crossed over. He wanted help for a long time. He just wouldn't take it. So I do believe Tom is gone. And um, I miss Tom. Tom was cool. <laughs> um, we've got a couple spirits, Philip and Patrick, coming through lately a lot. We've narrowed down Patrick as to coming from Burgeon. Um there was an old tree out back where a couple hangings took place in the 1800s. And he was asking Kathy for help. He never asked me for help, but I heard his name a whole lot. So what I'd like to do is see if we can get a hold of Patrick through here. And then I'm going to go over to the window and turn on the radio and see if we can get anything. So if Patrick is around from the hanging tree... Can you come forward? When Patrick is here, you got to say your name, Patrick. Is Patrick from the Virgin House? How did Patrick die? Alright, we're going to go over to the radio now, you guys, and let's see what we get. Let me stop this for now. And we'll walk over here. If I fall on my face, it's because my wheels broke. So if you see a sudden movement in the camera and I'm no longer visible, it's because I'm on my ass. All right. Back old school. How many are with me right now? Ten. Five. Okay. Usually I hear about three. Five. Okay. Can I get the names one at a time? Who's with me? What I'm looking for, you guys, is some information on Patrick. Can you help me with Patrick? I heard Patrick in there. We believe Patrick is a spirit from Virgin 
from the Virgin House. There's Patrick hung in a tree. And does Patrick need help? What kind of help does Patrick seek? Okay, there's nothing I can do for Patrick right now today. I'm going to go back and listen to this uh, video and I'm going to see what, what I pulled from it because I'm honestly not hearing much today with my ears. All right, thank you guys. I'm going to shut down now. Goodbye. I mean, she's got a great body, but her face isn't much to look at. <laughs> really, the body's in, in excellent condition. It's been glued so many times and put back together. I think it's tighter than when I bought it, which is usually the case when I do buy these things because, you know, they're from the 20s, 30s, 40s. I think this is a 40, a 44 a GE. And it's been taken apart. It's been glued many times it's fallen apart it's been dropped off the car it's been knocked over it's it's just seen its day and i said today that i was gonna take a hammer to it and just be done with it but i can't do that um <laughs> it's mine so look at that all that glue that's just been glued together it's it's strong as hell now though that glue isn't going anywhere that's that's that uh gorilla glue so I've used this box to make many boxes over the you know course of three years, and everything was always taped inside there so that I could take it apart easily and and try other things to see if they're going to work before I make another box or to put into another box. You know, everything went off of this. So I think now I'm to that point where I don't have to worry about this anymore. So we're going to, I mean, even the receiver is junk. It It, it fell so many times. That I replaced the receiver in it twice, and I just broke it again. The back of it was all loose. I don't know how I break shit. I just do. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we're going to put a new receiver in there. I'm going to get a new pedal, something different, I think. Um, all I had in there before was a straight echo and then a straight reverb. And I didn't really use the reverb a lot. Um, maybe I'll do a delay. A delay and an echo. Or a, a mixture of the two. I don't know. I had my response box parts put in over here where I was going to put a San Jean, and that never happened. So I think I'll put another response box in there, clean it up. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm going to do, but I'm, I'm going to keep it. I'll, I'll try and put a smaller receiver in there again. It'll probably just look the same when I put it back together, but I know that the insides won't break. So that's that. And one more thing, you know, these boxes that I build, um, they uh, they cost some money. This one was 120 just for the box alone, and then I had to, well, I didn't have to do much to this one. I, I did reinforce it and make it stronger, but then when I broke it, I ended up having to re-glue it up there and re-glue the side. I basically took it all apart and then re-glued everything and just to make it stronger. But when people buy my boxes if I know ahead of time the style that they want like the one I just sold that uh, that that GE box that looks like the geo box that body is hard to find the girl that just bought it actually saved herself a couple hundred dollars from what I usually have to charge on those because those boxes are usually about 350 375 somewhere around there and if somebody's already fixed it up, forget it, I can't even afford it, it's well over $1,000. And a lot of bodies, unfinished, can go anywhere from, I don't know, 50 depending on how small it is, up to $4,000. And um, that's crazy. I, I try to stay around that two to $400 mark, and I can't afford that, but if somebody wants it, they can pay for that. 
and I'll win the auction or I'll buy it now, whatever. And then we'll, we'll start on it. We'll put it together. I'll fix it up. I'll sand it down and, and do all that work. So, you know, it's an antique. It's an art piece. Yeah, the insides are, are guitar pedals. They're radio receivers. They're sensors. You know, that stuff, a few hundred bucks to put in. And then, you know, my time. That, that's, that's the way we do it. So, this one... Yeah, it's it's not gonna go anywhere. I, I I can't I can't get rid of it. It's like a it's like an old pair of socks, old pair of underwear. You know, you got all the, you got those breathing holes in them. 